Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the latest episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and it's time to play the game. So let's go to the board and check out the five categories you'll be quizzed on in this episode, starting with catchphrases, followed by foreign fanatics, European champions, next up, pearls of the Orient, and last but certainly not least, finish the theme song lyric. You thought I was gonna say something else there. Well, crazy, isn't it nuts? And if you're new to the show, here's the rules to follow along to. It's fairly simple. If you wanna cheat, go right ahead and be the dirtiest player in the game, but you're gonna to have to live with yourself. Now you figure that out, smarty. So without further ado, let's begin the game with a 200 point round, the easiest round in Wrestling Jeopardy. Starting it off with catchphrases. Whose catchphrase is, yeah. And of course the correct answer is, Usher and Lil John. What? I'm sorry, I'm messing around once again. The correct answer is the megastar, the one, the only, L.A. Knight. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's move on to foreign fanatics for 200. A former amateur wrestler in his native Iran, this foreigner was best known for his crippling camel clutch maneuver. That maneuver was known to break your back and make you humble, Bubba. The correct answer, who is the Iron Sheik? Here comes European champions for 200. Introduced in 1997, the European Championship crowned its first title holder in a tournament that saw this wrestler defeat Owen Hart in the finals. And the correct answer, I'm donning his t-shirt for this episode. Who is the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith? And we're on to Pearls of the Orient for 200. This legendary Japanese wrestler wrestled for over 39 years, but hung up his boots in 2023 facing off against current WWE superstar Shinsuke Nakamura in one of his final matches. And the correct answer, who is the Great Muta? Here we go, finish the theme song lyric for 200. Crowd is here, about to blow, waiting for me to blank. And the answer, what is start the show? which is from Cody Rhodes' theme song, Kingdom, by the band Downstate. All right, hopefully you went five for five and got yourself a sweet 1,000 points. Now things get a little bit more difficult as we head into the 400 point round, starting off with catchphrases. Whose catchphrase was now for the benefit of those with flash photography? And the correct answer, who is Edge and Christian? So for the benefit of those with flash photography. And that brings us to foreign fanatics for 400. Imperium is a villainous WWE wrestling stable consisting of Ludwig Kaiser of Germany, Giovanni Vinci of Italy, and leader Gunther of this country. The answer, what is Austria? Which is also the home of Hans and Franz, who are always here to pump you up. Moving on to European champions for 400. This Nation of Domination member was the first wrestler to accomplish the feat of becoming the Euro Continental Champion. It's messing up my hair, but I don't care because the answer is D'Lo Brown. That's it? On to Pearls of the Orient for 400. This new member of the WWE Hall of Fame initially made her debut in All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling, winning her first title at the age of 16. And the answer, who is Bull Nakano? And we close out the 400 point round with finish the theme song lyric, I came to play, there's a price to pay, time for you to get down on blank. And the answer, on your knees and pray. All 
All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go. If you like what you see so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click that uh, ringy dingy bell icon so you get notified every time we come out with a new Wrestling Jeopardy video, which is always every Saturday. All right, on to the 600 point round. Catchphrases, whose catchphrase is, can I have your attention please? And the correct answer, that would be the voice of the WWE, the one and only Michael Cole. Can I have your attention, please? Here comes Foreign Fanatics for 600. This wrestler had a brief but memorable run in WWE from 2004 to 2005 as an angry Arab American bad guy. And the correct answer, who is Muhammad Hassan? All right, let's move on now to European Champions for six. Despite its name, only two European champions were actually from Europe. The British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith, and this wrestler. And the correct answer, Lord William Regal. We're on to Pearls of the Orient for 600. This first ever WWF light heavyweight champion was also a member of Kai and Tai. Choppy choppy, your pee pee, the correct answer. Who is Taka Michinoku? Indeed! And let's finish off the 600 point round with Finish, the theme song lyric. Do what I say, better watch what I do. You better heed the warning I'm here to give you. If you ever doubted me, you don't have a clue. I'm blank. Another downstate banger. The correct answer is, I'm here to show the world, which was Dolph Ziggler's theme song. All right, we're on to the 800 point round, beginning with catchphrases. Whose catchphrase is, if I can be serious for a moment. He sported one of the best flat tops in the business from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The correct answer, who? is Lance Storm. If I can be serious for a minute. Here comes Foreign Fanatics for eight. While Muhammad Hassan would conduct his promos in English, his manager Davari would speak mostly in this foreign language. And the answer is Farsi. However, I'd also accept Persian. And a true funny story. Apparently, during one promo one night, uh, Davari cursed out Chris Benoit in Farsi by calling him a mother effer. True story. Google it. Moving on to European Champions for 800. The European Championship didn't start making regular appearances in the United States until after Shawn Michaels defeated the British Bulldog at this pay-per-view. And the answer from the year 1997, what is one night only? Moving on to Pearls of the Orient for 800, Shinsuke Nakamura entered the 2018 Men's Royal Rumble at this number and went on to win the match. And the answer is lucky number 14. Let's close out the 800 point round, finish the theme song lyric. I'm gonna drink some beer tonight, yeah. I'm gonna get some girls I like, yeah. I'm gonna wear blank. And the correct answer, what is my pants real tight? That's right, Zack Ryder, woo, woo, woo. You know it. Gonna drink some beer tonight. Yeah. Gonna get some girls I like. Yeah. All right, 20 questions down, five to go. Congratulations, you made it to the most difficult round in Wrestling Jeopardy, the thousand point round. The steel cage begins to lower, the ominous music begins to play. Here we go with catchphrases to a nicer guy. It couldn't have happened was this wrestler's catchphrase. And the correct answer, 
Who is the nature boy, Buddy Rogers? But there's one thing I want everybody to know, and that is, to a nicer guy, it couldn't happen. Your final clue for foreign fanatics for 1,000 at the 1993 Survivor Series, Yokozuna captained the foreign fanatics team that consisted of himself, Quebecer Jacques, Crush, and this Finnish wrestler. The correct answer, who is Ludwig Borga? Mä vedän Martin John eli turpaan, että tukka lähtee. Kuka ei saa sitä selvää sen jälkeen. Ja kaikille... Please, English if you don't mind. Here we go. European champions for a thousand. The European Championship was retired in April 1999 after Shane McMahon defeated X-Pac, but it was then brought back and awarded to this Ministry of Darkness member in June of that same year. And the answer, who is Midian? Not naked Midian, but just regular Midian. And we're on to the thousand point clue from Pearls of the Orient. This Japanese superstar may just be a forgotten ruthless aggression mid-carder, but he did win the WWE Tag Team Championship one time alongside Rene Dupree. And the correct answer, who is Kenzo Suzuki? And the final clue of regular Jeopardy from Finnish, the theme song lyric, should have been a man, but you don't know how. Play your hand you lost, but it's too late now. Have to pay the price for things you've said. And the correct answer, what is say it to my face? That was just way too many uh, lyrics I put in there. It's Alex Riley's theme song, say it to my face. All right, somehow, some way, we've made it to final Jeopardy. Now, are you gonna bet it all and try and max out your score? Well, I always say go hard or go home. But first, let's find out this episode's final Jeopardy category, which is the Punjabi prison match. This special attraction match is a modified steel cage, hell in a cell that's only been seen three times total. So let's think about that and place your wagers right now. All right, time's up. Let's take a look at the clue for Final Jeopardy. After a decade absence, the Punjabi prison match was brought back in 2017 at this pay-per-view when Jinder Mahal defeated Randy Orton to retain the WWE title. Good luck. Boom. After a decade absence, the Punjabi prison match was brought back in 2017 at this pay-per-view when Jinder Mahal defeated Randy Orton to retain the WWE title. This 2017 pay-per-view was the fifth annual installment of this event. The correct answer, what is Battleground? And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing and turning on all notifications so you can always find out when we come out with a new episode. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.